Exadata on cloud comes in two flavors. Exadata Cloud Service, also known as ExaCS, and Exadata Clouded Customer or ExaCC. What are these two Exadata on cloud? What are the differences or similarities between these two Exadata on cloud deployment options? I'm going to cover all this in today's episode. Welcome to episode 20 of weekly video series with me, Atul Kumar from Team K20 Academy where we help you in your journey to Oracle Cloud. So this is the third video in a multi-part video series on Exadata Cloud Service, where in the first video, I covered high-level overview of Exadata Cloud Service. Then in the second video, I covered architecture of Exadata Cloud Service, covering the database servers like DOM0 and DOMU, storage servers, InfiniBand, and three different type of networks. So if you missed the previous episodes, then you can get them by subscribing to a free Exadata newsletter by going on our website, k 20 academycom forward slash Exadata CS01. Just enter your name and email address and I'll share the email in which the previous videos related to these architecture and overview of Exadata Cloud Service. So now let's look at the deployment options for Exadata. And these are the three ways in which you can deploy Exadata. First one is the traditional database servers or machines on-premise where you purchase the Exadata and deploy on customer premises. This is the traditional deployment options that customers have been doing so far before cloud. Then you have Exadata cloud service on Oracle's public cloud that's running Exadata, but on Oracle's public data center. Then you have Exadata clouded customer where you run Exadata cloud service, but in customer premises. And instead of buying that Exadata server as you do in first option, in this clouded customer case, you're subscribing to the Exadata cloud machine on a subscription basis running on the customer premises. So you have this Exadata machine where you purchase in traditional Exadata deployment options. Then you have an Exadata cloud service, but on Oracle's public cloud. And third one is Exadata cloud, but on customer premises, also called as clouded customer. So in the third option, you get an additional software or cloud software like control plane, cloud tooling, etc. So no upfront fees because you buy or you're purchasing this Exadata on a subscription basis. Now, if you look at the two deployment options of Exadata Cloud, which is Cloud Exadata Cloud Service, ExaCS, and ExaCC, which is Exadata Clouded Customer, you will notice that these deployments are more or less similar with some minor changes. And I'm going to cover these differences. So in Exadata Clouded Customer, Oracle will ship an additional software or additional thing called control plane. And with that, it also sends an Oracle advanced support gateway for monitoring this Exadata remotely and also managing this and doing some hardware maintenance on this Exadata clouded customer machine. So now let's look at what is control plane. So the control plane is a cloud software that manages the billing, identity management, REST services, and other core underlying services like compute, storage, virtual cloud network, et cetera, that are the underlying infrastructure to run and manage Exadata cloud service. Now, you only need one control plane per data center. So if you have two data centers, one in primary and one in standby, and you're running multiple Exadata cloud service deployments within one data center, you only need one control plane per data center. Now with this control plane, you also get in this Oracle advanced support gateway. Now what's the role of this Oracle advanced support gateway is that using this gateway, Oracle Exadata cloud machine is going to send all its monitoring data to Oracle's cloud operations team so that they can monitor if anything goes wrong with this Exadata. Also Oracle's cloud operations team remotely will connect using the VPN through this advanced support gateway to apply some or do hardware maintenance like patching the hardware or firmware of Exadata Cloud Service or managing and maintaining this Exadata Cloud Service uh, from DOM0 point of view. Now, as we covered in one of the previous videos, DOM U is still managed by you as a customer or you as an Exadata admin. Now, the next question is why clouded customer or why customers are moving or going for clouded customer? So the main reason for customers picking this Exadata cloud service is because of data residency laws where data must always reside in customer premises. Now for Exadata on Oracle's public cloud, that's Exadata cloud service, 
you can still restrict the, your data to be in a specific region or specific country within Oracle's public cloud. Like you want to retain the data within UK, US, Canada, or Germany, that's possible on Oracle's public cloud as well. But that means your data is moving out of your data center, but within Oracle's public cloud. Now, if you want to see list of all the supported regions with Exa Data Cloud Service or Exa CS can be deployed in OCI, then you can check at k20academy.com forward slash OCI27, which will cover what all regions are possible. Now, other reasons for Exa Data Cloud it's customer or Exa CC could be that customer has security concerns or their systems are too complicated to put them into cloud yet or customer themselves are not yet ready to move to the cloud, but they still want to use the benefits that cloud has to offer. So Exa Data Cloud at customer or Exa CC makes perfect sense. So to do a quick recap, for deploying Exadata, you have three options. Option one, purchasing the Exadata machine in a traditional style. Option two is subscribing to Exadata Cloud Service or XACS on Oracle's public cloud. And option three is Exadata Clouded Customer, that is XACC, that is running Exadata machines, but in a subscription model. Now, in the next video, I'm going to cover all about three offerings from Exadata Cloud Service. That's quarter rack, half rack and full rack and what you get in all these three different options that's quarter half or full rack we'll also look at various exadata deployment models like x5 x6 or x7 and including the x8 that released recently now, if you want to be notified when i release this next video then don't forget to subscribe to email notification at ketoneacademy.com forward slash exadata cs01 and if you like this video, then don't forget to share it with your colleagues and DBA friends as we all learn better in groups. I'll see you next week with Exa Data Cloud Service offerings covering quarter, half and full Exa Data machine, including the machine types like X6, X7 and X8. Well, that's it from me, Atul Kumar from Team K2N Academy and I'll see you next week.